These people are calling for the release of Liu Xia, the widow of Chinese intellectual and Nobel Prize winner Liu Xia Wu. She's been held in detention by Chinese authorities since her husband died in prison in July last year from cancer. Liu had been fiercely critical of the medical services provided to the activist after authorities rejected a request for him to be treated abroad. Liu was seen as a symbol of resistance, a champion of human rights against what some say is the most powerful authoritarian regime in the world. He was locked up for siding with political activists who stood against the tanks in Tiananmen Square in 1988 and for supporting people's political freedoms in communist China. Authorities labelled him a Western agent and rejected international condemnation. Liu Xia is a Chinese citizen. China will protect her legal rights according to the law. But it's the continuing criticism from within that's most troubling Beijing. I went to prison during the era of Hu Jintao, along with Liu Xiaobo and Gao Zhizheng. At that time, the time of the Jasmine Revolution, we felt things were already dark enough. But over the past five years, we've discovered that Comrade Xi's rule is like a concentrated version of the preceding 23 years, the 13 years of Jiang Zemin and the 10 years of Hu Jintao. It's even worse. Worries about China's crackdown on internal political rights and freedom of expression are growing, especially as it's gaining power as a world leader through its economic and political strength. Will Beijing listen to the criticism and reconcile with the dissidents? Or will it continue to sponsor the voices of those like Liu, who remain critical of the communist government? Shoaib Hassan, The Newsmakers.